the Philippine population is getting older. According to the World Health Organization, it is a common trend around the world. In the Philippines, for example, people who are 60 years old comprise the fastest growing population age group. I'm Michael Joseph from the Philippines. I'm working as a clinical and research coordinator for the College of Nursing, Ardida Fatima University. The increasing number of elders in the Philippines poses many challenges, and one of which is the delivery of healthcare services. Most of our Filipino elderly are not self-supporting in terms of their health care. By using technologies such as the computers and the internet, we can communicate with our elderly in distant places and we can, of course, give them healthcare information at a distance. I'm doing a study related to telehealth technologies and its application to the elderly cohort. Telehealth technology is basically the integration of information communication technology to the process of delivering care to our clients. So what I'm doing is that I'm conducting several researches along with my dissertation to explore the factors that affect the behavioral intention of these elderly people to use telehealth technology. The first time that we told them that we're going to conduct a computer literacy program for the elderly, they were very excited actually. Some of them are thinking that computers are only for the youngsters. But I said to them that computers are for all ages and our elderly can be equally competent in using technologies. Before we uh, were invited to this program, I used to uh, do this computer but not so good. When Mr. Michael uh, introduced us to this uh, computer program, I do a lot of, of things that I, I, I never uh, knew before. At first, we trained them for six days on the basics of using computer and the internet. And after that, we exposed them to telehealth sessions with the telehealth providers for another six days. And uh, preliminary results of the research showed that only 40% of the elderly have their own computers hooked to the internet at home and uh, most of them are not using it. They are very great people. They are very patient teaching uh, those uh, elderly in the, in the computer. Mr. Michael uh, Dino, uh, when once that he told me about the project, I was very excited to be a part of it since um, it would be um, a new innovation in the Philippines involving the elderly. And uh, I'm excited to see um, how uh, they will behave in front of these computers. They are excited because um, it would be their first time to actually manipulate an actual uh, computer. Actually, this is a life-changing experience for me to work with the elderly uh, because I really ensure that the elderly enjoy the process. But now I can say that I'm the one who enjoyed the, the data gathering process. This is because this is uh, the time where we discovered that the elderly individuals are such uh, cooperative persons and they are also funny. And uh, you can learn a lot from them. Making them more functionally independent is uh, actually a, a fulfilling task. And uh, we feel overwhelmed because of the responses that we, of course, gathered from them. And it's such a, a wonderful experience working with these people, touching lives. And we're just hoping that, we, that they will be more healthier, more computer literate and health literate. I'm planning to put up telehealth centers in critical areas in the Philippines because uh, I, I consider technology as, uh, as a life-saving uh, innovation. That's because by, by using technologies, we can connect to anyone, to any person who are in need of our care.